quick video. So this is the, uh, the external monitor connected to an FT-DX10, which is down here. And at the moment, I'm just working at a, uh, a standing, um, in a standing position. Um, I find that um, if I sit in that thing for too long, it just it just becomes unhealthy. So uh, for the past couple of weeks now, I've actually been in a standing position. But because all my rigs are, stand, uh, are set up sort of down for a seating position, it means that if I, you know, they become a little bit more difficult to operate. Um, so um, what I decided to do was hook up the external monitor to the FT-DX10, which gives you a bit of a point and click interface. But um, one of the things you can't do is basically slide uh, the tuner um, across the scope. Um, so if we uh, just bring the audio up a bit. And um, so if I was to go over to this signal here, all right. Okay, now trying to get there means that I've sort of got to now go back to the radio. And, uh, and fine tune and hone in there. Um, one way to alleviate that is to actually have Ham Radio Deluxe hooked up to the FT-DX10 as well. Um, so that is hooked up via USB. This one here, FT-DX10 goes to a computer. All right, this one here, um, which also has an external monitor. Um, but that goes uh, to Ham Radio Deluxe. And then <clears throat> we've got the, um, the, uh, the video cable running to a surplus external um, monitor here. So we have these uh, two crazy things now. So what you can do is, um, or what I tend to do, is that uh, on Ham Radio Deluxe, I tend to look at this but use Ham Radio Deluxe to do the tuning. So it has also a, what's called a bandscape function. And um, it's not a bandscape, um, it's not a scope uh, pretty, you know, like, like the SDR radios are uh, today. However, it does allow you to slide, slide along and hone into frequencies. Um, that is one way of doing it. Okay, so I'll just turn the audio up again. Give you a demo. So I'll use the bandscape function on Ham Radio Deluxe to sweep up and down the band, right? And you'll see that on this external monitor here, it does the same thing. So now I can sweep up and down with a mouse and find a signal. Yeah. The thing is, is that he's 500 off, okay? One way to fine tune that is you go to one of these slide rules here and you just use the mouse wheel. Okay. So he's, his mate has just uh, gone 73s. So um, we'll just use this rule here. Rather than the bandscape, I'll use this here now to slide up and down the band. Okay, and visually on the Yaesu scope, this is where this is what's happening. So let's say we come down to here. All right. If I land a bit off it, I'll just use the mouse wheel to bring it down. Perfect. So that's what I'm doing at the moment, and. Um, uh, because um, it's it, it's all a bit fiddly now with everything down here, you know. Um, you you still do have to come down here, but it's only for the major functions like turning up and down the volume. Um, I could also do some fine tuning here, but I find that um, fine tuning the way I've just showed you, um, in combination with Ham Radio Deluxe um, and the external uh, monitor plugged into an FTDX10, um, is quite effective. 
uh, how that might go uh, for uh, you know other activities like contesting, I don't know, but I certainly find it's a it's a fairly swift way of of moving across the band. Um, I then have another mouse, of course, which uh, if I wanted to change modes, I could do uh, could do just with uh, you know the um, uh, the mouse, which is also plugged into the EFT DX10. Um, or I could just use what I've programmed into Ham Radio Deluxe. And um, I have all the bands laid out here, as you can see. So if I need to go to, or if I want to go to 80, I'll just click 80 here. If I want to go to 20, I'll just go to 20 here, uh, or back to 40. Um, yeah, all right, there you go. Um, hope that's of some help.